it is raining all day long. We've got another four, another four days until they come and replace the solar here. With this weather, they will cancel the appointment. The weather forecast says it will be raining for the next three days. I'm sure I've got one of these somewhere here in the garage. But where? So we're coming now to the far more interesting part of the whole preparation video. Far more interesting than mounting a switchboard in the carport. So we have here our east roof, our west roof, and this is the bus bar I have on my workbench for testing purposes, just over there. This is um, connected with a 4mm cable here and to a 25 amp breaker. But now we are using the 63 amp breakers again for extending the solar charge controllers. Ooh, one more! Huh, I'm so lucky! I just found the last four of our 35 millimeter ferrules. I have totally forgotten about this. There, there would be no time to order new ones. Luckily four left. One, two, three, four. And the top will be connected with 25 millimeters to the solar charge controllers. Four left. Yeah, plenty of 25 still. Doesn't that feel like in the good old days, man, when we spent hours, nights, for months here in the garage, building this battery shelf here. Wow, that feels so great. So, okay, I'm going to take off the safety cover now of the bus bars because I can already start measuring the cable length from the bus bars to the breaker. All right, so these four screws, now you should be able to lift this one up and just slide it over to this side. Remember, remember when we did all this design here? There are a lot of ideas from the community which I actually built then. Nice. Okay, so we have um, positive, negative, so this is our negative, goes in the breaker, they just fit 35 millimeter ferrules, just, actually not with one hand, <laughs> there we go, now it is in, okay, Turn this one off, I'm not going to use any tools here as long as this is all live. So, this is just to determine the cable length now. Okay, so we can cut here. Is that correct? Let me check again. Yep, that'll be good. 
Okay, that's the length. So and now we have to make sure if this one goes into the breaker, I need to have the other end so not twisted or something. So it should be perfectly flat. Flat here and up there into the breaker. And that's how I crimp them now. In this position exactly. And I'm using these uh, 35 by 8 ring lugs. And the, the shaft is actually that long that we can crimp twice. See that? And these are the really heavy duty ones. They are super heavy and thick material like this. And they also come with a bell mouth which makes inserting the cable very very easy. And this nice and clean cut. So I made all the cables we need to connect to the circuit breakers. Let's do it. So we don't we don't actually need to turn off the power at all because I can connect the cables to our circuit breaker first and then in the second step I connect them to the bus bar. There's no way they can they can short over here and these cables are different lengths so there's no possibility. This was all part of the design of this whole DC distribution center here. So no need to turn off the power. Nice. So I've now covered the negative bus bar here with a cloth. I can use my unisolated tools. Okay, 20 newton meters. I've also um, put this piece of conduit uh, on the negative cable here to protect it again against the positive bus bar here. Because they are fairly close, I mean it's still probably uh, still a few millimeters left, but just peace of mind, I put this um, conduit as a third layer of protection. This is just a marker I put on the screws when I have torqued them. So and now later I have done that and checked them again. This is just a habit from the time I worked in a switchboard company. All right, we are done. Everything is safe again. So, and in the next step, we have to connect the 25 millimeter cable here from the top of the circuit breakers, which then goes all the way to the new location. But we keep this for tomorrow because I need to go inside. Man, I need to edit videos. People are waiting for new videos. Look at this tool explosion here again. Wow. Huh, like in the good old times. All right, see you tomorrow.